Oh, she You know, I'd like to ask you a question. Where do we turn? I mean, where do we turn? This is a good question. You know, a lot of people, you know, here on YouTube, around our neck of woods, you know, in our neighborhoods, in our states, and what have you, this whole country seems like all around you got people. You know, where we talk about uh, the last days and we're concerned about that. And in doing so, you have a problem with people arguing and bickering and causing some confusion. Okay, and what I'm talking about is, you know, it's, it's like you have some who want to say, this is the Antichrist, no, that's the Antichrist. This is the day that he's come. The Lord is coming. No, this is the day he's coming. Okay, and uh, and it goes on and on and on. I mean, there's other things there, but you got the general idea of what I'm talking about. So the question is, where do you turn? Who's right? Who's lying? Who's misguided? Now some are just just misguided you know uh, I, I'm sorry I was distracted there was a bird on a bush out there I was just looking beautiful female cardinal beautiful bird but anyway getting back to what I was talking about someone is lying some are just misguided uh, overzealous and, and hear what and they listen and hear what the others are preaching, and, and so you get divisions, one's going over here, and one over over there, and over here, I mean, just everywhere, just blah, 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 okay, so the question is, where do you turn, who's right, who's wrong, I mean, who is the Antichrist, and when is the second coming of Christ? Uh, you get a lot of that, don't we? But I find, in it, like as in everything else, people are spending more time. I mean, I'm not saying it's it's it, it's a bad thing at, at to you know to to research in the Bible, you know, about what Jesus talked about on the last days, things like that. I'm talking about, but you you got this controversial thing, such as. Who's the Antichrist? Okay, and uh, when is the you know the day that the Lord is coming? And it's amazing you get people who will declare things that even Jesus Himself did not even declare, and did not know, or they, even the angels didn't even know, and all of a sudden they know. Huh. Now either they're the Son of God. Or daughter of God, are there a bunch of liars? Hmm. What does the Bible say? See, but but you get all this controversial stuff. You mean where are you where is one going with it? Well, there is what I think is the best solution to deal with this. Now, it's like this: if you know what causes a fight. If you know the cause, knows what what will start a fight, and you know what will do that, then is it not better to turn away from what causes the fight and let, and, and just go on and, and and avoid that so that there's peace? Now you're going to always have divisions, no matter where you go and who you're around here. There's always going to be somebody. It's going to declare they're right and they're wrong. But I'm talking about you. You. And as an individual, each one of you, as an individual, who can 
choose to do what's right and follow the right path, the right course of action. What do you do? Okay. Here's a solution. One solution, anyway, to think about. And, and read this and think about it. Think about it carefully and pray on it. Meditate on it. Uh, you know, ask the Lord's guidance. Okay. Here in the first chapter of the book of Acts. Now, uh, we'll just start at verse 4 and read down. All right. On the first chapter, verse 4. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which, says he, you have heard of me. Okay, and this is on the day that the Lord was fixing to ascend up into glory. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days from now. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons, which the Father has put in his own power. And it's seasons, that's another, you know, for events of time, okay? So you can think of it reading like, uh, It is not for you to know the times or the events of time, which the Father has put in his own power. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and into the uttermost parts of the earth. Okay, simple solution. It's not for you to know. In other words, in other words, don't worry about all those things. You got a mission to fulfill. Just like the apostles had um, a mission to fulfill, you got one. So you go out and do the works of God that he has told you to do that you are supposed to do and and don't well go focusing on these other things just like where he says here let me read it to you again it is not for you he says to them to know the times or the seasons events of time which the father has put in his own power hmm? think about all that I mean really uh, and he tells them that they uh, needed to do, in other words, they should forget about that. He said, I got a mission for you, paraphrasing, of course. Uh, I got a mission for you. You go and do this. This is what you're supposed to do. Do it. And they did. And look, look at what happened as a result. Look what we have, this wonderful, wonderful promise. Isn't that wonderful? Beautiful. It's just foods for thought. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? I love it. So think about it. Pray on it. You know, because and if someone tries to sucker you into uh, into to, uh, pull up who the Antichrist is or and you, you know get you to argue about it and to start commenting on it. I think our best course of action really is to say it is who it is. I want to do what God has told me to do. That doesn't mean you don't keep watch. It don't mean you don't keep your eye peeled out. But it does mean that you keep focus on the Lord and what He's called you to do. Okay, in other words, I mean, yes, the Lord will give us times and seasons. I mean, He signs excuse me, not time, but signs of events of, of the, the second coming. But he did not uh, tell us the time, I mean, you know, when he was coming. He did not He did not give us that, and it's not for us. And we were not to argue about all, the, all this other stuff. We're not supposed to be focused on this other. Our mission is Jesus Christ. Focused on him and what he did at the cross and to, to reach and preach the good news to those who are lost. That's our mission. To get as many as we can ready for the wedding table. The wedding feast. Think about it. Shalom. Aho. Kukehu.